Once every while, you will use a footprint that Visual Place does not yet know. In the component list, Visual Place marks these on a yellow background. So why is it important that Visual Place knows the footprint? Two reasons. First, if you click on the row in the component list, the marker does not show the orientation. The tip window still shows the orientation. Here, the component is apparently at zero degrees. However, it is inconvenient that the marker does not show this immediately, especially for polarized components and especially when the silk screen does not clearly indicate the orientation. And the second, as you can see, the marker appears to be off its center. But if you go to the function to verify the component centeroids, you will see that it is unable to verify the positions. That is common sense. If Visual Place does not know the positions of the pins of the packets, it cannot establish whether they fit on the pads. So those are the reasons why footprint definitions are beneficial. Now to add a footprint, right click on the component and choose Define Footprint Layout. In this dialog we have two options. Either we select a known footprint, this is for the case that a packet's name is actually a different name for a common footprint. In this case I measured the footprint and it turns out to have a different size than the common ones. So the alternative is to make a new layout. If so desired we can choose a different name for the packets, I leave it as is. In the dialog for editing a new footprint layout I can simply type in the values, but here too I can use a template to make it easier. This is a two pin part. As I said I measured the component and I know that the pitch is 4 mm. And the body size on the silk screen is 7 by 3 mm. In fact the packets is more like 5 by 2.5 but the courtyard is 7 by 3. In the preview Visual Place shows the pads as tiny dots. The size of the pads is not relevant for Visual Place, only their positions. So now we click OK a few times. I select the component again and the orientation is shown. And if I ask Visual Place to verify the centroids, it suggests to correct the positions as expected. What as demonstrandum? Of course the other unrecognized packets at the bottom of the list could also be defined in the same way.